India. Bye. Festivals with Samriddhi and traditions with Riya. Let's begin. India's location. India is located in Asia. It is sometimes referred to a subcontinent. It is located by the in this river. India before independence. The British Raj over India. The British formed the East India Company in the year 16,000 for trading of goods, primarily like spices, textiles, and many more raw materials for their finished products in India. Taking advantage of the constant fighting between different kingdoms in India, gradually the British started taking control of India. The British made unjust laws and used unfair brains to get rich at the dis at the cost of Indians. This made the Indians angry, discontent, and dissatisfied with the British rulers. The struggle for independence. The revolt of 1875 gave rise to the Indian. National, Indian nationalism amongst the educated Indians who were dissatisfied with the British rule. They came together and formed the Indian National Congress, INC for short, on 28 December 1885. Initially, initially the INC demanded reforms of Indians under British rule by a few moderates like Radhabhai Nayoji, Gopal Krishna Gokhale and Chandra Bornji. Bonerji, for extremist congressmen like Balkangadhar Tilak, Bipin Chandar Pal and Lala Lajpat Rai did not like the soft approach of the moderates and wanted Swaraj or self-rule. Activities of the Indian Revolutionaries Revolutionaries formed group to fight the British, Res resorted to violent means and were not joined by the, gen by the general masses. Aurobindo Ghosh, Varun Ghosh, Kar Khudiram Bose, Chandrasekhar Azad, Bhagat Singh, Shuk Shukdev, Raj Guru, and Udham Singh were some prominent re revolutionaries. They believed in fighting with arms and weapons and spread their movement to many states of India. Gandhiji leads the nation. After coming back to India, Gandhiji worked to remove evil practices from Indian society like the caste system, low castes, and remaining the untouchables, <laughs> renaming the untouchables as Harjins, meaning people of God, and many more. He realized how to unite the Indians against the British and travels to various parts of the country. By the way, guys, if you want, if you're interested in Gandhiji, watch our video we posted on Gandhi Jayanti last year, which is October 2nd. Yeah, make sure to check it. The Quit India Movement In protest against joining World War II, the Congress ministries in the provinces resigned. The Congress declared that India would not join the war until British granted them the com their complete independence. The All India Congress Committee started the Quit India Movement in their Bombay session on 8 August 1942, demanding the British to quit India completely. Thereafter, the discussions with the British failed and led to violent protests all over the country. India after independence. India becomes free. After World War II, the British gov government decided to free India. They were shaken by the Quit India movement and the Indian National Army. Discussions started to move out of India with the Congress and Muslim League. The successful excavation by the divide and rule policy by the British to divide the Hinduism, Hindus and Muslims. The Muslim League, under the leadership of Muhammad Ali Jinnah, demanded a separate nation for the Muslims, Pakistan. India got its independence on 15 August 1947 from the British Empire when the Parliament of the UK passed the Indian Independence Act. Indian Independence Act. India's geography. India is divided into 29 states. It also has seven Indian territories. India borders several countries including China, Bhutan, Nepal, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and Myanmar. The landscape of India is very diverse with deserts, jungles, modern cities, beaches, and mountain ranges including the Himalayas, which is the highest mountain range in the world. There are numerous rivers in India, and they all play an important role in people's life. 
The largest river is the Ganges, which is also a sacred river to the Hindus. About India. Official language, Hindi, capital city, New Delhi, landmarks, Taj Mahal, Amber Palace, Red Fort, and Elora, Elora Caves. National land, landmark, Ga Ganges River, Jog Falls, and Na Nagarhol Na National Park. Population of India is about 1.35 billion. Major religions, Hinduism, Islam, Christianity, Sikhism, and Buddhism. Delhi. Delhi, sometimes called New Delhi, is the capital city of India. It has a population of around 30 million people, making it the second most populated town in India in the world. Delhi was first settled in the 6th century BCE and has been inhabited ever since then. Today, it is an important modern city with a financial center filled with business and a popular location for tourists. Landmarks include the Lotus Temple, India Gate, and Akshadam Temple. This is the Lotus Temple. Mumbai. Mumbai, formerly known as Bombay, is the largest city in India. It has a population of around 20 million people, making it the seventh largest city in the world. The city is built across seven islands. It is financial. It is the financial, commercial, and entertainment center of India. The city is home to many businesses and Bollywood. Mumbai is also a popular tourist location with historical architecture, museums and attractions such as Elephanta Caves. India's culture. India's culture is very diverse. It includes many different people from different backgrounds. India has many religions including Hinduism, Buddhism, Sikhism, Islam and Christianity. In India's languages. The official language languages of India are Hindi and English. Despite, despite this, there are many other languages spoken across the country, including Punjabi, Bengali, Kashmiri, Tamil, Sanskrit, Urdu, and many others. Some of these languages have a very unique alphabets such as Hindi, Urdu, Sanskrit, and Punjabi. Indian landmarks Taj Mahal, Amber Fort, Red Fort, Elora Caves, Lona Crater, and Dog Forts. Symbols of India India's national flag is a horizontal bright color with saffron on the top, white in the middle, and green in the bottom. Green on the bottom, these are the three colors, and a blue wheel in the middle. In the blue wheel, it has 24 spokes representing the 24 hours and some people even think it represents 24 human qualities we have. Anyways, um, India's national anthem is Jana Gana Mana, originally, originally composed by Rabindranath Tagore. India's national song is One Day Mataram. India's national animal is tiger. India's national flower is lotus. India's national bird is peacock. And India's national currency is rupee. One One. Thank you. Bye.